Today I'll be calling Cable. My name is Wilkar Meyer and I'm your Elliott Wave Analyst, reviewing what has been and predicting what is likely to be in cable price action. So, in the last video, I said that this entire span from 1 to up here where I have a 2 was potentially 5 waves. But after doing a more sort of detailed consideration of the movement, what I'm thinking is it was actually a double zigzag. So I think what you had is you had five waves to here, you had a correction, another five waves to here, where I have W. Then you had three down, three up, and five down for an ABC correction that is X. This entire movement is five waves. Then you've got a three wave correction, right? This would be, you know, A to this point, B to this point, and C to make B and then five waves up to finish. So you'd have a zigzag to W, correction to X, and another zigzag to Y here. I think that's a better count than what I had previously said. And if that indeed is the case, then this high here at 1.5433 should hold. Now, if I zoom in a little bit, if that's the case, then we need to start an impulsive count in the short direction and the way I'm counting it is uh, 1 2 right then you've got a lesser degree 1 2 and I think all this is 3 it's in the process of making 4 uh, this should likely alternate with 2 so if 2 is a zigzag you know some sort of 5 3 and 5 then this should be some sort of flat or a triangle it's already done 535. Five. You would expect it to then come down 90% at least, potentially make a new low, and then correct long. Uh, that would finish this IV4, push down to 5, and that would finish 1, 2, 3. Now, in, in terms of trading, how would you want to play this? Well, depends on your tolerances but I think what I would wait for is I would wait for this full five waves to play out so you get one two three you're gonna get a fourth and a fifth wave down that should take you take us take the pound easily below the 150 mark probably closer to 149 something who knows but then you would wait for a correction and that's the point at which I would try and make a short play. So if I put my Keltner channel on here, let's try going into a bigger time frame. So this is a 108 minute chart coming up. As soon as everything resets, which seems to be taking a while. And there we go. So like I said, I would finish. I would expect the third wave to finish. We'd get a fourth and a fifth wave, and maybe you would see it then come and cross across the Keltner channel and touch the other side. Of course, when the five waves down are over, this yellow line would be much lower, I would think. But uh, you would see it, you know, coincide with probably a normal second wave retrace, which would be maybe around 152 I don't know we'll just have to wait and see it all just depends so now going back to 18 minutes so anyway that is the shorter term look right there that's the way I'm going to count it for right now so we'll just have to see what happens. I don't think uh, waiting hurts us at all. I think that if it falls below this level right here at 149.02, that's going to confirm what it is that I'm thinking. So you might want to wait for it to either make five waves down, retrace, and then play it short, or at the very least break that. 149.02 mark. Uh, either way, as long as you know where your outs are right now, uh, this level right here 
at, if I can get my pointer on there, 1.5433 would, of course, dissolve that count. So that's today's call. I hope you join me again for tomorrow's call.